Yes, yes, yes. It's the Raphael Dawkins with the Combat Radio, bringing you some unfortunate news. So let's get straight into it. Conor Ben versus Christopher Eubank Jr. is off. I repeat, off. After Ben's positive test, with the pair told that they will not be allowed to fight despite both wanting to go ahead with the clash at the L2. The L2 showdown. The showdown at the L2. Okay. Christopher Eubank, Ben, called off by the British Boxing Board of Control. Conor Ben returned. As you may have heard or may not have heard, Conor Ben has returned an adverse finding in a recent dope test. He came back positive for clomiphene. Uh, ben was set to fight Eubank. Yeah, we know that on Saturday. Wasn't too happy about the PPV, but there you go. Both fighters are due to work due to receive seven figure fees for the fight at the O2 Arena. Seven figures. Wow, well, what, what's that? That's, uh, yeah, yeah, millions. <laughs> millions. Several millions. However, the British Boxing Board of Control have postponed Saturday's event. Um, that's highly unfortunate for the undercard people. People on the undercard. Highly unfortunate, most unfortunate. Uh, Eddie Hearn spoke on it. He said uh, the situation was undetermined, but I've done my due diligence. I've done my research, and the British Boxing Board of Control are saying no. It will not go ahead. They're not giving it the go ahead. And then I think to myself, well, what, 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 clomiphene, clomid. I'm familiar with, I'm familiar with clomid. And normally, clomids, how, how it's used in sport is, it helps people come back. If they've been, been saucy, clomid is one ingredient in a number of ingredients uh, that helps bring the, the natural levels back after one has been uh, has been saucy, been a bit juicy, been a bit juicy, juicy. Um, that's one of the things that helps the body return to normal functionality. But that seems strange to me anyway, because Pana Ben is a vegan fella very careful about what he puts in his system so it seems something of an oxymoron for him to be all of a sudden all of a sudden be in just ingesting toxic substances seems very strange very odd don't seem to make sense is it true or is it false was the B sample was B sample tested as far as we were aware, the B sample was not tested. And uh, this test was, was a voluntary test not done by the British Boxing Board of Control. Uh, there were tests after done by the British Boxing Control and all the findings, none of the findings were adverse. Only this test done in August was adverse. So it seems highly peculiar indeed. They could have let the thing go on because no British Boxing Board of Control test came back as adverse. So, you could say, well, let, let the show go on, but uh, the British Boxing Board of Control have done their research and they've arrived at their conclusion. And their conclusion is that the fight is off. Conor Ben versus Christopher Eubank Jr. is off. That's the latest news, that's the word, that's the official word coming from the British Boxing Board of Control. And uh, what can I say, we were just talking about this last night 
on the original wrap up show. Leave, I'll leave the link in the, I'll leave the link to that. But we didn't know about this back then. So this is the latest news. It's the Rafael Dawkins, the Combat Radio. It's the Ben versus Eubank fight is off. OMG, have your say. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. We're out. Just like Ben versus Eubank. OMG.